The number of new infections here in Germany has risen again with more than 22,000 cases reported over a 24-hour period. That's despite almost three weeks of a partial lockdown. The increase comes as lawmakers in Germany voted to strengthen government powers for tackling the coronavirus crisis. But in Berlin, police were forced to break up a protest by thousands of demonstrators who defied calls to wear masks and keep a distance. Water cannon and pepper spray deployed by police to disperse the demonstrators. Thousands gathered near the German parliament building, a crowd including anti-government protesters, coronavirus skeptics and members of far-right groups. Many were not wearing masks or maintaining social distancing. They were protesting against coronavirus restrictions, which they see as a violation of their civil rights. In my opinion, the restrictions are disproportionate. Surely it should have been possible to come up with other measures that don't cause so much suffering. I am here for my children and my grandchildren. I will not allow their freedom to be taken away. While police clashed with protesters outside, lawmakers inside parliament were largely in agreement and approved the new infection protection law. The law is meant to put the government's response to the coronavirus on a stronger legal footing. Previous legislation only listed broad, general provisions and didn't foresee the severity of the pandemic or the specific restrictions needed to rein it in. This led to local courts overturning some of the measures. The new law defines more concretely which restrictions can be introduced, including mandatory face masks, limited social contacts and restaurant closures. Health Minister Jens Spahn defended the measures and criticized those protesting against them. To be loud, to be against it, even to deny the obvious, all that is possible and must be possible in a free and open country. But those who are loud are far from being right, and certainly not in the majority. This did not deter the demonstrators outside, despite polls showing they are in a minority. A recent survey found 56% of Germans believe the restrictions are justified, and some actually want even stricter measures. Let's bring in our political correspondent here, Leonie von Hammerstein. Leonie, it's been two and a half weeks since Germany reimposed restrictions aimed at curbing the surge in coronavirus infections, but infection rates are still high. Does that mean we're likely to see even tougher measures? And if so, what could they be? Well, yeah, you said it. There were tentative signs of optimism last week that the curve was flattening. But at this current rate of new infections, um, it is very likely that when Angela Merkel and the 16 state premiers meet next week, that they will indeed discuss a further tightening of the measures and an extension of the measures um, beyond the month of November. And one topic that is very likely to be on the table is schools. So far, schools in Germany are still open. But um, what a lot of people are discussing is a sort of high hybrid model where half of the students are in school and half of the students are learning at home, from home, um, are learning digitally, virtually from home, and then they switch after um, mm. two weeks. Um, so this is a model that is uh, going to be very likely going to be discussed next week. Now, we've seen some really angry protests against the anti-COVID measures already in place. Is the government losing public support, Lanny? You said it. We've seen angry protests yesterday. They are very vocal, they're loud, but we do have to clearly say that it is a minority. It's a loud minority, but it is a minority. The majority of Germans actually support the government's actions against the spread of the coronavirus. Over half of Germans say they think the measures are appropriate and there are 18% of Germans, according to a recent studies, that say um, the measures there should be even stricter. So the government does enjoy a broad broad support of, um, in the German population. Now, anti-COVID vaccines are on the horizon. They're nearing approval. What sort of vaccination strategy is the government preparing? 
Well, the vaccination strategy is obviously still being discussed. What we do know so far is that the government is planning a mass rollout, 60 vaccination centers, that it is planning to vaccinate risk groups first, including medical, medical personnel, that it is planning to cover the costs for the vaccine, and very important, importantly, um, that the coronavirus vaccination will be voluntary. Leonie, thank you so much. That was DW's Leonie von Hammerstein.